Thank you. Matt, a couple of gentlemen asked me some questions during the break, and so uh, I'll incorporate them in, into my uh, into my second half about the bagpipe and all that type of stuff. So, um, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to play a couple of street tunes here. Um, the, the first one being a, uh, a tune called The Twelve Men of Dublin, also heard it called The Ten Men of Dublin, and uh, has no... Uh, has, uh, doesn't have any type of religious connotations or undertones to it at all. So, uh, the, the, I was uh, did a uh, one of these contests where you have to do an Irish set. So, I went to come I went to a couple of the boys in the band and I played the tune. And so, just got the got the okay. I wasn't going to insult one side or the other. And then uh, followed by uh, two four four marches called uh, uh, the Children and Jack's Welcome.
the half and asked if this was the same band. If this was the same bagpipe that I played in the band. No, it's not, no. Um, in the band we play a sheepskin bag, a cane drum reeds, a shepherd chair. So uh, the, the, it's a few marks of bag cover that's on there. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the great parts about, about playing with the band was, you're going to find this strange, but these bag covers, okay, and uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm not one of these guys that, that you know, you, you know, goes around and telling folk about how great products are. I don't even, I don't even, don't even bump up my own reads. But uh, um, the the bag covers that, that they do at Archie Hardy, the bags just don't move. I mean, they're they've got that that thing here and they've got that little patch there, and they're just absolutely awesome. And um, so this was an old bag cover of the band. So if I'm given the impression that this is a Field Marshal bagpipe. I'm sorry, but that's that's a setup as far as that goes. What the, what bagpipe I'm playing today is, is uh, as with me, it's a funny story. I was uh, struggling with moisture control last year at, uh, during the competition season. So uh, a great mate of mine, a great mate of mine, Willie McCallum, he, uh, he 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 sits next to me at Ibrox. We've got season tickets, and he he tells folk he's, he's got the smallest seat in Ibrox. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> the, uh, Great guy and a great friend. Anyway, I was calling him up and I was, I was saying, ah, I'm having problems with moisture control and stuff like this. He goes, he's a big man. He says, come on over to the house. So, anyway, he went over to the house and and uh, he says, here, he says, he says, he says, try these. And it was a, it was, it was a setup that he had, and it was, uh, it was Willie McCallum's McCallum bagpipes. It was, it was a bagpipe so that McCallum had made for him. I don't know if it was under. Uh, the specifications he wanted or whatever, but uh, these are Willie McCallum's McCallum's, and so uh, he hasn't gotten them back yet. Uh, and I, I was on, I was, I was, I was talking to him. Uh, I was talking to him a couple of uh, just a couple of games ago, and uh, I says, uh, I says, pipes are going great. I says, uh, I says, I'm playing them down in London. Is that a problem? And, yeah, big man, no problem at all. As long as you want to play them, no problem. So uh, uh, it's amazing for. 